I'm pouring a fresh pot of tea. Who's in? <laughs> so, um, if you caught this morning's tea, then you're already all caught up. If not, you can go find it and read it. I'm not here to explain everything. I've got things to do. I just feel like venting right now. And I'm kind of tired of feeling like a broken record venting to the same people. I know that they don't mind, but... Also, I want this to be public. Especially dealing with the family that I'm dealing with. Because I'm dealing with very small town, small minded, narcissistic people. Um, the old guy thinks that his name carries weight and it kind of doesn't. Uh, <laughs> not as much as you think he does. And uh, the weight that it does carry is probably not weight that you want to carry. Because there's a lot of people that don't have nice things to say about your name. Um, which I'm sure that there's people out there that don't have nice things to say about my name. The only difference is most of that shit's made up. <laughs> so, um, <clears throat> I wish I knew that, Tavia. She sounds like a lot of fun. Uh, anyways, I found him. Guess where he was? Uh, he was at his parents. His dad took out the phone and started recording like I'm the threat, even though his son is the grapeist enthusiast. Um, if I told you guys everything that's ever come out of this man's mouth towards me about everything that reels around in his mind, you would be shocked. You would be surprised. You would say, Tavia, why didn't you leave sooner? Well, because honestly, at this point, I feel like it's all men think this way. Prove me wrong. So, because I feel like a lot of people are really good at fronting that they're not that kind of man. And then they are that kind of man. Um, so. Anyways, I found him over at his parents. His dad took out the phone. And like I told his dad, on camera. And I spewed the whole story over again. Why we were there in the first place. Having this argument in their driveway. Because um, if you're going to record me, you're, get, you're going to get the whole story on film. So there you go. And, uh, I already know all of his actions of last night, so I don't know why he feels like he needs to lie to me, you know? So, like, I already know. And I already knew that you were full of shit when you said that the phone was broken. It's not broken. You wanna know how I know? Because I yanked it out of the car that I pay for. And, uh, Called, called your dad on it. So that way you all knew that I knew that you're full of shit. How's it feel to be called out publicly? Because um, you're not going to do this to me. You're not going to do this to me. You're not going to sit there and lie to me and na narcissistically gaslight me. It's not happening. I am not letting this happen to myself again. You will be blasted in public. I don't care anymore. I have reached the point in my life. I don't care if I hurt your feelings. Because you want to know what? Those kids in there, they're hurting right now. They want to talk to their dad. And you're sitting there at the kitchen table telling my soon-to-be ex-husband, don't go talk to her. Don't go communicate with her. It's going to end so badly for you. I already have a 50-50 parenting plan worked out with him. I have it printed out. I can show it to him. I don't feel like doing that at this point. You can get online and look it up yourself. I've given him the information to do that. It's very easy. If you can't figure it out, go ask a librarian, because I'm done helping you. So, there's that. <laughs> um, I'm, th I'm considering changing the parenting plan, though. I think, I think it's well due that I have full custody. Because if you're going to run away, and you're not going to communicate, and you're going to lie, and you're going to be around your narcissistically abusive parents that put you in lingerie when you were 13 and took pictures of it to hold it over your head with a mom that gropes your behind and tells you what a handsome young man you are and pretty much tried to raise you to be her, like, future son-husband situation thing. I don't know. It's weird. Your dad raised you to be your... to be his little workhorse. And to keep you stupid and doing what he says. You do realize that, right? I'm not saying this to be mean. I'm just saying straight facts. And this is why I never liked to be around your parents. Remember at the beginning of our relationship, when you decided that you wanted to marry me, 
one, after they begged me for grandkids, right? They were like, oh, we want grandkids. Oh, you guys should get married. And then once you decided that, all of a sudden, it's a no-go. And they took the house you were living in and apparently paying money for because you were working several jobs and they had control of your bank account. And they took your truck that you were working for. Um, and he, he here's the thing. He didn't even know how to manage his bank account. He didn't even... And I didn't find this out until a little bit later. He didn't even know how to manage his bills or his bank account or anything like that. His mommy was making sure all of that was taken care of. A 20-something-year-old man. His mommy was making sure all of that was taken care of for him. So, of course, when I came along, that became my responsibility because he didn't know how to do it. And I'm not going to explain it to you. If I have to explain it to you, I'm just going to do it. You're not a child. I'm done. So, <clears throat> Yeah. There's that. Um, but yeah. It, it blows my mind. And I don't know why. I don't know why. Because you obviously didn't care about how I felt the night you decided to finish in me without my consent. Um, you obviously have not cared about how I've felt this entire relationship when I've said, your environment's disgusting, the, your li like, the way that you're living is disgusting, like, the way you leave your trash around and, like, like, I'm not talking, like, just a little, like, he, oh, he left his socks on the floor. I'm talking, like, soda bottles, um, food debris, and food plates, and cups, and cigarettes. It looked like a trap house. It, like, he, he lives like he lives in a trap house. Um. And I have friends that can confirm this. There was one time when we got into an argument because he was throwing knives at the floor. Inside. Around children. Yeah. So. I almost divorced him right then and there, too. But everybody tells me, oh, no, try to work it out. No, but I feel like if I would have divorced him right then and there when my gut told me to, um, maybe I wouldn't have, maybe it would have spared me and him both the pain of him, uh, graping me. So, um, thanks to all my Christian friends that just said, just work it out. Uh, God was already telling me to go. So. Um, yeah, he lied about his phone. It wasn't broken. He could have called, talked to the kids. And he, this entire time he's act like, he's acted like, you're going to try to keep the kids away from me. Dude, no, like literally when I was filling out the parenting plan, I said, you can come in here and sit with me while I do it. But no, I was, uh, running from the bedroom to running in there to running in. Like, every question, everything I was filling out, I was like, okay, so this is how I'm going to fill it out, this is how I'm going to set it up, um, like, the days to drop off and the hours and stuff like that, like, I'm going to structure it like this, but if we need to have some flexibility, I'm okay with that, we just need to have communication. Like, I am, this is what makes me so mad about the world around me, is I am not an unreasonable person. Just be honest with me. Just communicate with me what's going on. It's the lying and being blindsided. That's when a switch goes off in my head. And I'm just like, oh, you want to become a corpse today. <laughs> I'm getting to the point where I can't handle it anymore. This is why I don't go outside. This is why I don't like talking to people. <sighs> My, my brain is on overload <laughs> and I don't have nearly enough coffee creamer. So, um, not only that, but it's like the night that he did what he did, I was running on four hours of sleep. I had been up since 3.30 a.m. that morning. I had therapy that day for guess what? Essay. It's a specialized kind of therapy for S.A. Because I've been trying to work through all of that, you know, yucky stuff I went through growing up, right? Or even in my young adulthood. 
and uh, grow as a person, try to become better, you know? And see, here's the thing. My soon-to-be ex-husband, he would lie to me about stupid stuff all the time. Like, why do you even have to lie about that? Is this entertainment for you? And here, you'll understand what I mean in just a second. So he would regularly come to me and be like, <laughs> I got pulled over. I'd be like, no, you didn't. You're terrible at lying. That, that's, that's also what makes me so mad, is you and your dad are terrible liars. So just stop. Just stop. Because it's embarrassing at this point. The fact that you think that you can sit there and lie so terribly and think that you can get away with it. Good for you, bro. You live in a state of delusion I wish I could aspire to. Uh... And again, even with the last interaction I had, even with me being like, I fucking caught you lying to me again! This phone works! And I handed it to the cop, and I said, take that back to him, tell him to call me. And has he? Nope. So that right there tells me that you do not want to be a dad. I, I've even said, like, we can meet at the park, we can meet at McDonald's. And he's like, what, so you can cause a scene there? Only if you're going to be stupid and try to lie to me. That's all I ask, is some honesty. Some blatant honesty. And I don't want to hear this, oh, well, I'm going to, and all these hypotheticals. No, I want to know your plan right now. What is your plan? If you And I, I've come up with solutions for you, right? Like... I have a lock on my bedroom door. All of my valuables are behind that bedroom door. I have stated, even though you don't have a place to go to right now, if you want to come back here during the day to watch the kids, like, just get them up in the morning, feed them breakfast, make you guys a couple sandwiches, clean up your mess, and get out and go to the park or something, right? Um, if it's going to storm, fine. Stay here or go find a friend's house. I don't know. I don't care. Uh, not your parents. Definitely not your parents. Um, so. And yeah, no. I'm not dealing with your parents. I'm done with them. <laughs> They're dead to me. They have treated me like crap since I met them. And gaslit me. Love bombed me a little bit, you know? Because... It went from hate to love bomb to backstabbing to love bombing to more backstabbing to hate to hate to hate to hate to hate and then, you know, pretending to like me, I guess, when we moved back here or once when we moved, uh, you know, I guess getting at, getting away from you guys made, made the love grow fonder. I don't know. Uh... So, that's where I'm at right now. I've got kids, I've got these boys, and uh, I guess their dad doesn't want to be a dad, even despite the countless opportunities I've given him. I, I, I'll wait until I go to bed tonight to see if he calls, but I highly doubt he will. And if he doesn't, I guess I'll update the parenting plan tomorrow. So, that's that. Why you gotta make me do more paperwork? That's, that also pisses me off the most. Why you gotta make me do more paperwork? I don't want to do more paperwork. Anyways, I should probably try to regulate myself and get ready for bed because I got to get up and go to work in the morning because I have responsibilities that I can't run away from. So fuck you and good night.